Hi, I'm Leah, a registered dietitian for DeVita. Think of protein as the building blocks for a healthy body. Protein has four functions in our bodies. First, it builds muscle. Second, it fights off infection, and that keeps you out of the hospital. Third, it gives us energy. And fourth, and perhaps the most important, it keeps us living healthy longer. Albumin is the measurement of protein in your blood. To help you remember this, I want to teach you the rule of fours. For good health, have an albumin of 4.0 by eating four ounce servings of protein at your midday and evening meals, and drink no more than four eight ounce servings of liquid daily. Let's talk more about the rule of fours. Healthcare professionals have found that patients who have an albumin of 4.0 are less likely to experience nausea, cramping, or a low blood pressure. Albumin at a 4.0 level also makes it easier for your body to release the fluid on a dialysis day. So, if you can have an albumin of 4.0 and limit your fluid intake to no more than four eight ounce servings daily, you too can reduce your risk for nausea, cramping, and a low blood pressure. People who undergo dialysis have an increased need for protein. Dialysis removes fluid, wastes, and protein from your blood. I'm going to go over with you four ways that you can increase the protein in your diet. First is the variety of proteins that you can eat. Secondly, we will talk about eggs. Third, whey protein supplements, and finally, protein bars. First, let's talk about animal proteins. We have fish, chicken, red meat, hamburger. We also have pork as an option. I'm going to wrap up these pieces for use later in some freezer paper, but today I'm going to make a pot roast with this beautiful roast. I have peppers and onions and some seasoning, salt and pepper. On dialysis days, you may not feel like cooking, but a pot roast is a wonderful way to prepare a home-cooked meal and have leftovers for lunch for the next day. Crock pots are a wonderful way of getting a meal prepared without much effort. I've put my roast in, and now I'm going to add my yellow peppers, my green peppers, my red peppers, and just lightly spread them over the roast with my onions, which they smell so good. This is gonna make your house smell better than you can possibly imagine. And then I have my spices, a little red cayenne pepper and some crushed red pepper, garlic powder, black pepper, oregano, paprika, and a little Mrs. Dash, just to give it a little extra kick. Cover it high for about 10 hours, and you have dinner ready. Chicken is another very popular protein. You can buy a rotisserie chicken at the store, or you can cook your own, and they smell very good and have a lot of uses. Today, though, I'm going to show you how to make a crunchy chicken wrap with carrots, cucumbers, celery, lettuce, and chicken salad, or you can use just the meat you pulled from this chicken. The meat on this chicken comes away from the bone very simply. And look at that beautiful white meat, okay? I've made it into chicken salad, so we'll start with a few pieces of lettuce. some cucumbers and a little celery. I'm the sandwich artist. And then we'll use our chicken salad right down the middle, okay? Squish it in there with our fingers. Roll them up. Give them one nice slice. And there you have a crunchy chicken wrap. It doesn't get any easier than that. Let's talk about the egg. It is one of the most economical sources of protein. It's wonderful because it is so versatile. You can make egg salad with it. 
deviled eggs, or even add egg white proteins to your tuna salad to increase the protein in your lunch snack. We have talked about getting protein in the diet with meat, fish, chicken, eggs, but now let's talk about supplements because sometimes food isn't enough. Whey protein is 26 grams of protein per serving, which is equivalent to three eggs. Today we're going to make a protein smoothie and this recipe came from DaVita.com. It's a little bit of ice, blueberries, apple juice, the whey protein powder, and artificial sweetener. Let's make our blueberry smoothie. Eight ounces of fresh blueberries, or you can use frozen, our artificial sweetener, a few ice cubes, eight, ten, depending on how big yours are, apple juice, and our whey protein. So here's our blueberry smoothie. Remember to include this in your fluid allowances for the day. To make sure that you are getting enough protein, aim for a four ounce serving, which is roughly the size of the palm of your hand or a deck of playing cards. Finally, let's talk about protein bars, a very popular choice for extra protein in your diet. There are many different brands, but not all bars are appropriate for patients who are on dialysis. Your dietitian at the clinic has a list of bars that would be good choices for you to try. Remember though, it is important you take your phosphorus binder when you eat your protein bars. Be looking for a bar that has at least 14 grams of protein. These are just four ways to help you get protein in your diet, to build muscle, fight off infection, live longer, and be healthy. Your dietitian and social worker are there to help you to find the resources to get the protein that you need in your diet to live a longer, healthier life.